Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create tabs using Microsoft Word. That is going to speed up how you create a book of content and also create simple program outline using Microsoft Word. So let's say, for instance, I want to create a table of content and I just type summary. So let me see, I type summary and I hit the tab key. You see, it's going to generate this amazing line for me using the tab. So I've set my tab at the top of my around 3.5. So once I press my tab key, it's going to move the line all the way to that part for me. It's going to move the line all the way there. So let's say I'm creating my table of content. Anytime I hit the tab key, it's going to do that for me. So let's see how this is going to work, how to set it up and how to start using it. So like without much ado, let's jump right into action. So I'm going to go to a new web document. And once you launch a new document this way, you need to first make sure you have your rule because we're going to use the rule to set up our tab. So if you can't see the rule, just go to the view tab and then click on what the check icon over here to set up your rule. So you're going to see a rule around your entire document this way. So it's going to be the horizontal and the vertical one. So we're going to stick to the horizontal one at the top over here. So let's say we want to set up. So we have numbers over here. So we're going to use the numbers to set up our tab. So the tabs over here is going to be what the horizontal version of our tabs. So we're going to set our tabs using the numbers at the top over here. So in order to do that, let's say we want to, so we want to set our tab on five. All you need to do is to just double click on five and it's going to open this dialog box for you. So you can see from the indication over here, seeing tab stop position, that is five. So we want it to end on five anytime we hit the tab key on our keyboard. Okay. And then it's going to be left aligned. You can go to center, right. But because we want to create a table of content, we're going to use what the left align and it's going to be straightforward. Okay. So once you click on this, we have the lead leader that is going to be the line we want to use. So you can decide to set it to none where you have your number, your word move without a line but we want to use the second one which is going to use the line because we want to create a table of content you can use it to do other stuff but let's just stick to this and then click on set so we are setting our tab and then click on okay so once this is done we can go ahead and start doing some typing so we're going to start from introduction so i'm going to type that so i'm going to type introduction then i'll hit the tab key and see what will happen So once I am done typing introduction, all I need to do is to press tab. So when you press tab, you can see what is happening. It's going to start all the way from the starting point and then it will end on hold. So it's going to end at five. So I can just put my first number there for my introduction. Then I can. So after that, all I need to do is to go ahead and type my next content. So it's going to be, let's say methodology. Okay. We type the methodology just press the tab key you can see it's going to end it this way then we can go ahead and then we keep adding the rest let's see we have one to add the scope we do that and then we put the numbers over there so you can use this to create a simple program outline or even do amazing table of content so you can just go ahead and then keep adding everything you want to do and just put your figures over there if you are if you are done you can just go ahead and then maybe do a bit of modification. We can just put our cursor, move this down, and then we can just give a title to this. So you can just say table of content. Okay, so we can just bold in this, select this, and then go to our home tab, and then make sure that this is bold. So if, we, so if you want to add more of this, we can just see the enter key, add that, press the table of content, assign the number and then keep going so we've added this to five if you want to remove it just go ahead hold the margin just go ahead and drag the tab below drag it below and then it's going to remove the tab from this you can see the last one has no tab okay so this is just a simple way to add a tab using microsoft word remember to subscribe like and share this video because i'm going to have amazing stuff for you right here on this channel also like and share this video and subscribe as well till i come your way again bye bye